necessarily reflect those of the advertisers, owners, or management of Pacific Telestations, LLC. For comments, opinions, and questions, please email Jess Lujan at jessthebuzz at gmail.com. The Buzz with Jess Luhan. Good evening, Mom. I'm Jess Luhan. Welcome to this episode of Buzz. Exciting show again tonight. Episode four with former Governor Carl Guterres. Governor, good evening again. Good evening, again, Jess. Uh, Thank you. you. Okay. This is Governor, I want to concentrate tonight on your rebid for governor in 2018. Okay. The question is, okay, for sure you are running, right? Absolutely. Okay. Who is your running mate? Haven't decided yet. Okay. Um, okay. You know, uh, it came, came close uh, mm -hmm. several months ago. Okay. And uh, there's about six people that mm -hmm. are, uh, you know, in in the in the embedding, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and one one of them uh, or two of them are mm -hmm. in, in the legislature, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, so it kind of had me take a step back and saying, mm -hmm. listen, you know, uh, as long as there's still policymakers, lawmakers in there. Uh, why choose early? I mean, they, mm -hmm, some mm -hmm. of them are introducing bills that are not very popular with the business community mm -hmm. or other people. So, so I said, let me just step back because in January, these people are no longer introducing any, uh, <laughs> any <laughs> controversial bill. They're going to start passing resolutions, I think, again. So there's no, there's no rush. Sure, I, sure. I am going to make a decision, but mm -hmm, there's no mm -hmm. rush in it. I mean, even in the mm -hmm. States, everybody knows mm -hmm. President runs, you know, he's the president of the United States, sure. and in the end, he'll choose his sure. running mate. Now, Governor, how does it feel? I mean, there's, there's talk. I mean, I, I, there's one unofficial official announcement. Of course, uh, Lou Dong Guerrero, Josh Inouye, Josh Inouye, who I think was a cabinet member, a cabinet yeah, member yeah, yeah. Uh, yours, that he's, he's running for lieutenant, the lieutenant governor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's talk out there, strong indication that uh, Frank Agun Jr. is he's going to run. He was once your your running mate as well. How does that make you feel that the once they they work for you? I mean, they, they you were their mentor basically. Mm -hmm. That uh, and he uh, Frank Agun Jr. served as your cabinet uh, member, I think, in the Department of Labor, right? If I wasn't back in your Ooh, first term, uh, Frank Agun Jr. Commerce, commerce, commerce. Okay, yeah, he was your cabinet member. So these were your former cabinet yeah. members running against Carl Guterres. Well, you know, they're, <laughs> I, and of course, they probably put their own political plans in, in advance, sure, right? Sure, the sure. only thing they didn't figure out is that I'm not going to be that old yet. <laughs> they probably thought I'm already out to pasture <laughs> because if they really thought that I'm, you know, I'm still mm -hmm. contemplating on, on jumping in and putting on the brakes and, and bringing mm -hmm. back the heart and the, and the mm -hmm. soul of, of Guam, because mm -hmm. I'm, Jerry and I are so, so, so mm -hmm. believing in this thing that that I have my children and grandchildren, mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. not going to just, uh, you know, sit back. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. have a lot of energy, gives me a lot of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, thinking power and, mm -hmm. uh, and physical, mm -hmm. you know, uh, strength mm -hmm. to continue to move forward. And uh, they didn't bank on that. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. thought that if they ran Lou and Josh, that I am going to back out because I have no chance. Mm -hmm, I mean, that mm -hmm. was the word out there mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I have no chance and I can't find a mm -hmm. running mate. Oh, excuse mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not, that's not true. But uh, oh, you're not the only one who hasn't announced their their uh, their running mate. <laughs> yeah, but but you know, so, it, yeah. why why jump out? Maybe yeah, okay. maybe in their thinking they they need two to beat one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that that thing was that they were not considering mm -hmm. that I was going to be very mm -hmm. active. I started this two years sure. ago, mm -hmm. going out and making sure that I, that uh, people know that I'm running mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing that the people and I'll tell this right now that, you know, when I ran in 2014, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was not going to run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, up to the second to the last day where you can go in and sign in at mm -hmm, election mm -hmm. commission, I was pretty much accosted by, by Wampat, Robert Underwood, uh, Tom Ada, the whole legislative senators and former, former senators, former speakers of the Democratic Party mm -hmm. brought me and asked me if I would please. It's embarrassing if the Democrats don't have a gubernatorial candidate. Mm -hmm. I said no. I'm not going to run. Well, two days to the end of it, they called me again one more time, and they said, we got to do this. And I, st I so my wife was there, and I said, well, what do you think, honey? He says, well, maybe you should take one for the team. So the next morning, we went in there and signed up to run for governor and lieutenant governor with Gary Gumatauto, you know, and at the last day to sign up. That's mm -hmm, June 28th. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but when I decided to really run for governor, I started three mm -hmm. years early because that's how much time. And you took one for the team. I took, took one, one for, for the, the team. team. And yeah. it maintained the majority mm -hmm. 
Now, if you look at it closely, the last six on those 15 in, after 2014 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all went out on 2016. Mm -hmm. The same six. Same six. Mm -hmm. Because there was no rah-rah from a gubernatorial campaign mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. meetings and, and, and going mm -hmm. around the villages. That's what happened mm -hmm. because they were afraid they were going to lose the majority. Now, now, now let, let me ask this. <clears throat> There's potentially, if, if we went with today's talk about who's running, okay? There's potentially three, uh, three teams from the uh, Democrats. Democratic Party. Yourself, mm -hmm. uh, Lou and Josh, Frank, and whoever is running may, may be. Now, in the Republican side, there's only talk about, about one um, mm -hmm. um, uh, team at, at, at this point. They say that uh, the general election, you guys are going to kill each other, you, you know, in, in, in the campaign. And there won't be enough time to, to, to mend the, the fences. Mm -hmm. And they say, Carl Guterres is the deciding factor here. They always talk about Carl Guterres' base. Whoever Carl Guterres, is, Guterres supports, uh, and it may not be a Democrat if, if he doesn't prevail, that, that was, is, is going to swing the election. Well, first of all, um, I, I, I don't dictate to supporters, mm -hmm. number one. You know, and I keep my word when I say that I'm going to support the winner. I, mm -hmm. I, I keep mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I go through and I, I say that. But this is a different kind of an election, mm -hmm. Jesse. I don't think there's going to be any tearing apart of any candidacies. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just moving forward as, as, as I was asked by many, many people mm -hmm. to, to bring back the heart and soul of Guam. Even when we were only $360 million budget mm -hmm. at the time mm -hmm. I was governor, when Joe Ada was there, he was up to $566 million. I was ways and means. It went down by $200 million mm -hmm. because of the Asian economic burst and, and the Korean airline crash and, and, and every typhoon hitting us and the mm -hmm. earthquake. A lot of people said, what, what the earthquake happened under Joe Ada? You're right. It happened in August 1993. But in January 1995, a year and a half later, all of the sewer lines were popping up from underground and the, and, the, and, the, and the pipes going down to Navy because the governor at that time, and you can look at the PDN headline, we don't need the federal money. We can handle this ourselves. He didn't want any FEMA money to come in. Well, little did they know that a year and a half later, I had to face and give $28 million out of our own budget to be able to get the water flowing down to, to the south from Adelope all the way down. And I had the Navy, Admiral Brewer, to work with me to bring in uh, this group of people. We paid 50-50 to, to find where all the leaks are on this island. And, and, we, we, and we, we didn't qualify for FEMA? Or we didn't no, want it. We he didn't, did we didn't. not want FEMA. He came out and said, we don't, we, we're okay. On the surface, it looked good. The yes, governor the, did not realize that there the probably, latent The latent reactions, yeah. yeah. yeah the, mm -hmm. There were broken pipes mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. and, it, and you're going to mm -hmm. see it a year mm -hmm. and a half later. Mm -hmm. So there was another $28 million that I had to take you know, to be able to, to make this thing work. So um, what are we talking about? Right? <laughs> no, uh, the FIBA and, and uh, the, the disaster, the, the earthquake and what happened there. And of yeah. course, with, with uh, and, and Governor uh, uh, Ada saying that we didn't need FEMA's help at, yeah. at, 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 at this point, right? And actually, where, where people were saying that the Carl Guterres is going to be a determining factor because of his base. Yeah. He, may not, he, may not, he may not win, but he's going to determine the next, the next governor based on, based on your base, on who no, you support. I've never stood up and told anybody after I mm -hmm. lose a primary to go mm -hmm. support somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, those losers sometimes, or those winners sometimes mm -hmm. said they didn't need my, my, mm -hmm. my help. And I know one that just said, I don't, we don't need, we can do it without them. But the, the key here is not going to be that kind of a, of a, of a, a fight in the primary. Mm -hmm. I'm just there, here I am. Carl Guterres, I've been there, I've done that, and I want to be able to come back in and bring in, bring in the specialness of Guam. And I was, I was telling you that, that at that time, at $566 million is what the budget mm -hmm, was for mm -hmm. Governor Ada and his group mm -hmm. in the last, and, and Mark Forbes mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, that group. Mm -hmm. By the time I was in there, it's down to 366. But we did a lot of things. We make things happen. I had to care back a 32 mm -hmm. hour week to make things happen. So this is, this is who I am, and I'm saying that I, people now remember that that's who I am. They remember that I'm in their homes looking for them, giving them what they need out there, the basic needs that, that, uh, that you know, people have been forgotten mm -hmm. about. Uh, like, for example, they say, why, why is it that all the lights are in Tamuning and Aganya Heights and Sanahamnya, but there's nothing up here in, in Jigo? 
Why, why aren't we sharing the same, you know? So I made everybody feel like they're part mm -hmm. of this community mm -hmm. and they want that back. They've never, they said, this is, I'm not criticizing because I don't know if it's true. They said, we haven't seen anybody else coming out like you were coming out with First Lady. Coming out here and seeing us and finding out what we need. Mm -hmm. We can't even go and see them, make an appointment to see them, you know? And so this is that kind of an election. I'm here, Jerry's here, and when my announcement of my running mate is there, they'll know that uh, mm -hmm. if you want to criticize me, to repeat them, the jo Joseph Goebbels uh, lies, you can do all you <laughs> want. The people don't care about that. They already say they want Carl back. He's been vetted. He's gone through everything that, that and, and survived what people thought would, would never happen. There we go. Governor, I got to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Okay. I ask your thoughts about the po possible elimination of the primary when we return. Okay. This KUAM Care Force message is brought to you by Bank of Hawaii. Bank of Hawaii would like to help you welcome the new adventures, the next chapters, and all the great things you have to look forward to. Welcome to tomorrow. Bank of Hawaii, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Watch Think Green every Wednesday on KUAM News for a look at how to lead an environmentally conscious life. Think Green showcases everything from local companies and organizations making a difference to tips on reducing waste and conserving energy to new green-friendly products on the market and more. Presented by GPA, bringing energy solutions to you. Humanities Guahan presents Indigenous Dance, Restoring Our Environment, Dancing Earth in Guam, featuring internationally recognized choreographer and dancer Rulan Tongyan. The Indigenous Intertribal Ensemble Dancing Earth is inspiring a renaissance in contemporary Native American performing arts. Dancing Earth will be in Guam for a week-long tour of dance workshops and performances, including free community performances at the University of Guam Fine Arts Theater and the Guam Museum. Dancing Earth will give a special full-length performance with Natibu Dance Academy at our benefit dinner on Saturday, October 14 at the Hyatt Regency Guam. Tickets are $175 per person. Join us for an evening of indigenous artistic innovation. All proceeds will benefit Humanities Guaham, a nonprofit organization that provides foundational support and educational programs for the people of Guam. For more information, call Humanities Guaham at 472-4461 or find us on Facebook. Sponsored by... Guam's favorite I ninety four and the variety. All right, Guam's favorite I ninety four. Guam's favorite I ninety four. We're redefining brand and promotional partnerships. Engaging in the next generation of news gathering and storytelling. Giving you premium, fresh content. In new and innovative ways. Across more platforms. With extensive reach. And let's not forget about our multiple channels on broadcast and cable. More ways to collaborate, more ways to target your audiences. Want to collaborate? Talk to us.
The Buzz with Jess Lujan. We're back, main studio guest, uh, former Governor Carl Guterres. Governor, your thoughts on, the, I know there's a bill out there to eliminate the uh, the primary. Your thoughts on that? Well, you know, uh, I've, I've proffered the idea that uh, that uh, maybe, uh, you know, to get every to get these party labels mm -hmm. off the backs of, mm -hmm. because it's causing people here to, to, to in families, fighting mm -hmm. in families, sure, Republican sure. and Democrat, mm -hmm. right? Let's just, let's just have some kind of an election where, where you run. It doesn't matter, you know, you don't have to say you're Democrat or Republican. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that was my, my thinking, mm -hmm. right? But then when this bill came out, of course, they, they, they heard that I talked about it. They didn't ask me for mm -hmm. my input, mm -hmm. so I still don't know what's in that okay. bill. Okay. But there's got to be a more thought out procedure where people are, are, are asked to participate so we can make this a better election mm -hmm. instead of uh, just an idea that says, let's just get the top two and, 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 and let them run off. If it's money savings, it ain't going to happen That's because right, it's almost guaranteed two weeks later after the, after the general election, you you're going to have the, a runoff. You won't get the 50% So you cannot run, right? sell yeah, that yeah. to the people. Sure. So let's just let's mm -hmm. do something that, mm -hmm. that can lead up to the general election. Mm -hmm. The Organic Act has the mandate to have a general yeah. election on the first mm -hmm. Tuesday after the first Monday in November. That's mm -hmm. in the Organic Act. Mm -hmm. If we want a pairing off of the, of the, of the, uh, in the primary, mm -hmm. we can do that without even party labels. Just mm -hmm. figure out how to do that ahead of time, like six, seven, eight seven. months mm -hmm. earlier. But I don't know what's in that bill, mm -hmm. but the idea is let's figure out how to, mm -hmm. to, to clean up this election. Sure. Governor, let me ask you this. Now, I, I don't know if you've sat down with all the, the potential Democrat uh, competitors that, that you have out there, but there was uh, quite a few Democrats basically, your supporters as well and, mm -hmm. and, and others, that went and voted Republican the last gubernatorial election. I've always said, I said, watch out, because this election can be just the opposite. Not only will the Democrats go home, but quite a few maybe of the Republicans will swing to the Democratic side. So you could have, again, a, a 2014, right, 2014 mm -hmm. repeating just the other way around this election. What are you folks doing? What are you doing? What is Carl Gutierrez doing to bring your folks, the Democrats, back home? Party-wise. I mean, the ones that, because a lot of them exited to vote for, for the Calvin Oria team. I'm not doing anything because they're already back. They're back already. They're the ones that, you know, asking for, a, they're apologizing to me and all this. But they're back already. This is the, these are the same people that, that, that did not vote for me because they, mm. a lot of them made a commitment because I wasn't running. Remember my, sure. on the last, mm -hmm. so they made a commitment a year before, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the last day that I mm -hmm. signed in. So they said, I went there and I made, I made a commitment mm -hmm. to Cowboy because you weren't, nobody was running in the, in the, in the Democrat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now we're back with you. So it's not like they went against me. Mm -hmm. They just already made a commitment since there was nobody running. They committed before you before, asked them. So, yeah, I remember okay. this, mm -hmm. you know, this is June 28, sure, 19, sure, sure. 2016, okay. and, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or 14. Mm -hmm. So it, it was already, you know, I'm not going to ask them to take their word back. Mm -hmm. But now they're saying, we're the, no, we need you back mm -hmm. now more than ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you, you know what you're going to get mm -hmm. with Carl Gutierrez. Sure, sure. They're still thinking, I wonder what I'm going to mm -hmm. get with mm -hmm. the other two. <laughs> so that, that's what they're trying to figure now, out. Now, let me ask this. Potential again, if it, if it, if it stays status quo like this and, and three challengers in the Democratic Party, only one from the Republican side, mm -hmm. there, there are folks that say that the Republican will walk in. No, nah, never worked that way. Okay. <laughs> never worked that way. You got to earn the position. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, know, you don't win by default. Okay. I'm telling you, when, if I win the primary and I'm going to debate uh, the one Republican, uh, that's where, the, where the, 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 the rubber meets the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, no, they, they just don't say, uh, uh, I'm, I'm angry because I lost with Lou or I lost with uh, Frank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, we need Carl Gutierrez in and uh, uh, let's compare Carl with Ray Tenorio or whoever. Okay. So you, you, you think again that, that, that this, this primary will be heated as all, as all primaries are? I don't think so. It won't be that heated? I mean, no, it, no. it may be heated I'm not on the issues. Get, I'm not going to get into a fight <laughs> with any of them. Mm -hmm. I'm moving forward with the, what I want to do mm -hmm. in growing this economy paring down the government uh, deficit mm -hmm. and, and reduce the, the deficit. And, and that's what I'm going to move forward. Mm -hmm. Get the millennials a job. 
I'm, I already made a commitment that now that it's almost uh, $17 million in the compact impact, mm -hmm. I'm taking $8 million and I set aside, it's almost like a public works office in the, in, in the governor's office, which I'm mm -hmm. going to go out there and extend all the, the, the infrastructure out there. I'm mm -hmm. taking $2 million to the University of Guam and the, and the, and the GCC to help defray the cost so that they, the, the uh, uh, tuition won't go up. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm making a commitment to go back to what mm -hmm. I did before. People can't even mm -hmm. get their water lines put in because it's going to cost them mm -hmm. $25,000. Well, there, there is a proposal out there by one of the, your, your opponents, the Republican side, <clears throat> to make uh, tuition free for the University of Guam. Yeah, there's no way you can make that happen. I mean, this is bola bola, as they say, man. How you, it's just not, not realistic. It's not realistic. Forget it, Charlie. Well, I, 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 <laughs> I'm keeping from laughing, Governor, because I, because even myself, I said, where did that come from? Is that a Bernie? Is that a Bernie Sanders? I said, is that did that come out from a Republican? Yeah, you know, yeah, but, but, but but I I I just know the reality. Well, Bernie Sanders can make it happen because they print their own money. We don't print our money here. There, they can just keep printing it, man, with the Federal Reserve and just throw it out. Uh, well, up to twenty trillion dollars we owe now, you know, and uh, but here it ain't gonna work. Believe me. So I'm taking that two, two, two million for GCC and eight, eight million to put in the infrastructure out there. Mm -hmm. So when it's done, <coughs> when I put the water line into your property, you go to G, uh, CCU or CUC, mm -hmm. I forget which one, Saipan or, or this one, and then ask CCU. them, CCU, CCU mm -hmm. and ask them to connect you for the connection mm -hmm. fee only. Mm -hmm. None of this, uh, you have to pay 26,000 to cross the road and stuff like that. It's just stupidity because that's the basics of life. You know, Governor, I've, I've always said this, and I, 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 there's only one other person that I've heard say this, and I said, I think if there was challenge, if the CCU was challenged, you will find that it was unconstitutional. I'm telling you, but this is what they try to take away from me also. Mm -hmm. So you agree with that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> These guys, what are they doing? All they do is, to get out of it, is raise more rates. How many times do you think they've gone to, to the PUC oh, man, over the last five, six years, it's, seven it, years? It, it, it's, it's At least all, twice a year it, or three oh, times a year. I think every quarter. Anybody can run a government that way just to keep raising up the rates, especially the necessities of life, especially for water mm -hmm. or for power or sewer. Just keep raising it because uh, they, need, they need to use it. I, any governor that's like that was not going to let that thing happen. Well, I mean, not just that, but you're, you're looking at potential uh, increases on, on GRTs and, and, and all, and all oh, that. I mean, how you, again, that, that is going to put a damper on the next governor and trying to entice companies to come out oh, here and yeah, say, this yeah. is a, a business-friendly uh, business yeah. uh, um, atmosphere. I'll, I'll, find, I'll, I'll find other ways than to do that, believe mm -hmm. me. And that's mm -hmm. where no one has done it since I've mm -hmm. done it for the Vision mm -hmm. 2001. I'm going to pull it together for maybe mm -hmm. this year, 2025, mm -hmm. and we're going to bring everybody in that's a stakeholder on mm -hmm. this island. Mm -hmm. Where do we want to go and how are we going to get mm -hmm. there? We're going to put it together and short term, middle term, and long term, and let's move it forward and this is how we're going to do it. Maybe the business community is going to come in and say, make sure there's no mm -hmm. increase in gross receipts tax, no increase in corporate tax, or all, all these mm -hmm. things. So this becomes a vision of the, the island. Mm -hmm. I can't think of everything myself. But this is a vision of the community. Even DO, even mm -hmm. I had the clergy in as part of the of the uh, Vision 2001, so that we don't step over anybody. And so watch, it's going to happen. Out, watch out! You might get sued. You, you bring them in. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Governor, just real quick, how are you going to base uh, your picking of your cabinet members? Well, I don't know how many cabinet members I'm going to pick. Not, not that many. Mm -hmm. Believe me, if I'm going to start cutting down the cost of mm -hmm. government, that's a major. You're talking about a hundred and some thousand mm -hmm. dollars for each one of them mm -hmm. to include their benefits, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just cutting down 20, that's how many? Two million dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Two million bucks mm -hmm. already, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the things that I'm going to try to see if I can put together that same start off that I did in, in 1995. Mm -hmm. It's a, like a cabinet of five in my office that oversees so many different departments. Have, have a, uh, a classified uh, employee, the high ranking in public works, for mm -hmm, example, mm -hmm. be the point man for somebody that's in the governor's office, not directly to me, and they deal with him. 
He's like the director for five different agencies. So not necessarily one a, for uh, every agency. So not necessarily a a a, a uh, unclassified employee, but a classified, a classified employee that, that acts as the director. That's correct. Okay. And about reports to somebody in the governor's mm -hmm. office. Keep that thing down. I think it's going to work. It's mm -hmm. going to work if you and start looking at those those positions that uh, that people are are uh, you know. Uh, not need it. Okay, Governor, we're going to take a quick break and probably have time to just say goodbye. Okay, be right thank back. you. Join KUAM Sports as we showcase those young dynamos on the gridiron with the Triple J Ford Guam National Youth Football Federation's Playmakers, a weekly team profile every Tuesday and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. From the Mandikiki Division through the Matua Division, we'll take a look at each team, their coaches, dedicated parents, and fans. So tune in as we salute those youth football greats making an impact on the field this season. Playmakers, brought to you by Triple J Ford Guam National Youth Football Federation. Bye-bye. Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too. 